that across the University of Texas system, more than 20 DEI offices have been closed and more than 300 people have lost their jobs on campuses like this one across our state. Now, this is all according to the system's chancellor. Jayla Washington tells us this is really the first time the public is getting a clear picture of the impact these DEI bans are having, which went into effect in January. Walking from UT Austin's campus to the Capitol, a recent UT graduate, Jackie Campos, still invested in what's happening in higher education. I fear for the students that are coming here that are currently students. I just hope that our lawmakers as well as um, our staff and uh, representatives at UT and around Texas really hear us. She wanted to be here as senators got an update on the law banning diversity, equity and inclusion practices at Texas universities and colleges. And our board um, made a pretty strong statement and we are committed. We're not going to look for loopholes. We're not going to look for workarounds. We are going to fully implement this. The chancellor of the University of Texas system says it took months to get campuses in compliance, but says they did so by having each of its 14 institutions do internal audits. That led to shutting down 21 DEI offices, getting rid of 311 positions, and canceling 681 contracts, and ultimately reallocating over $25 million. I think through the audit process, we will learn more. We may, in fact, learn that we haven't addressed everything. This update followed by a direct line of questioning from State Senator Royce West. That's not, that's not what I asked you. He's been against the DEI ban from the beginning. My office has received some complaints that some of the programs that were uh, dismantled uh, complied in part with the law. Is there a review process in place? There's no specific process in place. In Austin, like Jayla in Washington. In case that if somebody came forward and said you shouldn't have gotten All right, so let's break that down. Diversity, equity, and inclusion actually started in the workplace in the 1960s to reduce discrimination during the hiring process. The policy actually grew to include higher education in the 1970s. Then during the 80s and 90s, there was a shift to include identity, ethnic, religious groups, and the LGBTQ plus community. And within in the last 10 years, for example, universities like Baylor have been releasing studies showing DEI was not helping with college success, at least according to their studies.